question now is have you seen sent into darkness sent into darkness is a crystalline film ministries productions if you've not yet seen it i advise you all to go check it out hello everybody my name is oris daniel i'll be reviewing a film titled sent into darkness it was directed by kola de shegun okiwo and produced by sumbo shegun okiwo and kola de shegun okiwo for crystalline film uh, productions so the another director on the set was shegun oladoye so the movie was screenplayed by Kolade Shagun Okiwo, continuity was done by Choma Chukulotam, Lighting Akim Adeleye, Sound Israel Adeyemi, DOP on the set, the one and only Ben Okwe Johnson. It was edited by Rafael Olua Tosin. So the movie features cast like Banwo's grandpa, played by Abiodun Morakinyo. Sorry if I'm not getting the pronunciation right. Banwo, played by Bruno Ogiamen, and then Lalehin, played by Adeni Adekola, Kenneth, played by Adedeji Olua Benga, and Bazo played by Victor Benga and the CSO played by Kolade Shegun Okiowo and the DOP, the DPO played by Sumbo Shegun Okiowo. So the movie generally tells the story of politicians or students who are contesting for uh, SUG president in school. They killed each other and at the end of the day, the last person who contested was a born again Christian that went into politics and um, he made it because it was God that directed him because he saw it. In the, the, God directed him. God led him. Not just by himself so the film generally is encouraging people to um, go into politics it's, it's encouraging people to go into politics des Christians rather to go into politics despite the norm or despite the fact that a lot of people think that politics is a dirty game meant for unbelievers alone so the movie also features film for Lucipio Kedari as the SUG student uh, the student union government president who died because he trusted in the arm of flesh and it's failed him he went to a native doctor to seek for powers that he's not gonna die if anyone attempts to kill him at the end of the day he was killed and uh, he could not make it so i would advise you all to go check it out and then let's discuss in the comment section straight up to the things i love and things i did not like about this movie i love bazo's tears the way uh, the cult is uh, who was bazo was able to bring out that tears it was highly emotional and it was so real you could see that his eyes turned red and the tears just dropped and that was great i thought that was great acting by everybody was on point everyone acted well the casting was appropriate and Banwo and Banwo and Elvon Jarrett. Banwo being the young um, Elvon Jarrett's character was appropriate. They looked alike. Next thing was that the 1960 set was awesome as well. The 1960 set when um, uh, Elvon Jarrett's character was still young with his dad played by Abiodun Morakinyo's character. It was appropriate they cast the the costume was appropriate the set was appropriate everything was okay in the set it depicted the 1960s and they did well in that aspect straight up to the things i did not like about the movie the editing cuts were too much the cut and join were just too much that at almost at every part of the film you could see the editor cutting and cutting and cutting and joining cutting and joining cutting and joining was too much in this movie i think the editor didn't really do justice to his job in this movie next thing was that the voice of the characters was not rhyming with their lips next thing was that the costume for the cultists wasn't believable it didn't well depict costume for cultists meant for cultists next thing was that there was there were there were issues with the continuity aspect in the sense that when film for lucipio kedare's character went into the drum of blood and then came out in less than few few minutes his whole body was just dried that didn't work next thing was that you can't be an sug president and be seen all over the school smoking and drinking and you you are known you are well known to be a cultist all over the place you're seen you're not even hiding to drink and smoke you, are, you can't be an sug um president with low grades seeing the fact that um victor's um bazo's character had carryovers you can't even contest with carryovers so that was an error i think that that wasn't really looked into next thing was that the bottles that the courtists were using to drink uh, star and beer were empty they i think they should have put some drinks in it even those sprite or water just to make it um not just to make it not to look empty as it was the bottles were empty and i could tell next thing was that you can't find a dead body on campus and only you is running only you is running and only you is surprised the rest are just walking past uh, the rest are just like passerby and they are not even saying anything you are running nobody is asking you why you are running and then you have to go and look for a specific person uh, uh, 
If you follow CPO Kedare's girlfriend's character, you have to go and look for only her before you guys can now uh, talk about it. You, 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 you seeing a dead body, you're supposed to be surprised and alert everybody around, uh, and everybody should be afraid or every everyone they should be panic in the whole area instead of how it was. Next thing was that the lady preaching to Tunde's character seemed more like a slay queen the way her hairstyle was and the way she dressed. Next thing was that the subtitling were overlapping each other. You know this situation whereby they've not even got to a scene and then they're already subtitling for that scene in another scene that was inappropriate next thing was that a 300 level student okay sorry i've I, I think i've talked about that next thing was that he was pointing the gun and receiving instruction from the director i mean when bazo went to bangwo in the forest he was pointing the gun at him and then i could still tell that he was looking sideways and looking at the director of the film to get more instructions from him on what to do next he wasn't really believable when he was pointing the gun next thing was that we hardly do newspaper today when the news of um the infolu cpo kedare's character died you could see students reading newspaper i mean we hardly do newspaper today they should have shown students instead using their phone their phones to check the news that could have been appropriate it's at it's a 2016 movie but even then newspaper had already gone on extinction then next thing was that i think this is all i'm able to gather for things i did not like about the movie i advise you all to go check it out it's already uploaded on evangelist jonathan's youtube channel go check it out and then let's discuss in the comment section do you agree with what i said let me know don't you let me know in the comment section bye for now i'll see you all later in the next one